All right, guys, hello, and welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. Today, we're in Capos, here in Punta Arenas province, right near Manuel Antonio. The beach is just on the other side of this. We're gonna go on a little walking tour, check out the town here on this weekday morning. But if this is your first time joining us here, be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube. Like this video, hit the bell notification so you get notified when we upload a new video during our travels here in Costa Rica and elsewhere, and leave us a comment. So once again, we're in Capos, Puntarinas province, popular, very popular tourist destination. This is the town that's immediately adjacent Manuel Antonio. So that's where we stayed last night, just up in some short-term accommodations. You can see we're here when it's not too busy, it's the morning. So not a whole lot going on, but everybody's heading in to work, getting their shops ready to open. And Capos is a little village, it's a little town, fishing, a lot of fishing here. There's some good fishing stores, I bought a fishing rod here one time. So to get here, you're probably going to land in San Jose if you're coming. And you're going to drive probably an hour and a half to Haco. That is south of San Jose. And then you're going to add another hour to head down here to Capos. Very good road. Coming in, it's the Pacific Highway. So it's well maintained. There are some potholes along it. So just be diligent while you're driving. You can see this is a cool little town, man. We've been here before. It's nice and quiet. Just great restaurants actually on this road right here. It's really great restaurants. And of course, Manuel Antonio is extremely close. So you're about five, 10 minute drive from Manuel Antonio Park, which is a big national park. It's very, there's tons of hotels, boutique hotels up in the mountains. So actually if you're, if you were to go the wrong way up this road and turn right, you'll go up behind this mountain here and you just head that way. So in the future, we'll do another video there at Manuel Antonio and perhaps some accommodations up on the park. But for now, we'll check out Capos. You may be able to hear the birds. Maybe we'll get lucky and see macaw. Saw a few macaws coming in. Oh no, those, those look like vultures up in the trees. And if you're coming here, you can get a bike. You can easily bike between Manuel Antonio and Capos and try, uh, try some fishing while you're here. If you bring a fishing rod. Go so there's a supermarket. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now down here, there was a really good restaurant we went to a couple years ago when we were in Capos. I don't remember what it was. It was around here somewhere. It was beside a gym. If anybody knows what restaurant that is, it was beside like a CrossFit gym. It's pretty cool. It was so delicious. I think it's like up here somewhere. So we're going to head back down to the main road there where you enter into Capos. We'll check it out and then we'll go, uh, we'll go see the, the ocean, what the ocean looks like on this morning day. And you can see it just rained here last night. It's kind of overcast, which is nice. It's refreshing. The air here in Punta Arenas is refreshing. You can, you know, you can breathe. It's not dry at all. It's nice and humid, but the humidity comes with the heat. So if that's your jam, if not, maybe check out the Liberia airport and the Guanacaste province where it's a lot more dry right now in May. So you got a guard doggo. He definitely looks like he wants to break out. Let's see, Let's see, oh, no, he's not going to make it. Kitty's not playing games though. No chance is taken. So 
So if you've been to Manuel Antonio or Capos, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it was and perhaps things that, uh, that I should film the next time I'm through here. And this is the main road here. The main road coming in and out of Capos. And there's the ocean, the Pacific Ocean right off in the distance. Actually, I'll cross the road so you can see. What it looks like here. Now, last time we were here, we actually went fishing off this bridge. And you could see at night all the needlefish swimming around down below. So it's pretty cool here. A big river estuary kind of situation. The waves breaking off in the distance. And I have to assume it's low tide. Looks like it. So yeah, we went fishing right off here. And some people were catching some pretty cool fish, but yeah, you could see a lot of cool needle fish swimming around. There you go. The big hill off in the distance. Once again, there's that marina. The water's looking very shallow, so I don't imagine many big fish are going to be swimming around in there. Super cool, super cool. There's some more accommodations up in the hills. You'd probably get to those by the uh, Manuel Antonio Road that skirts through the mountains. And Manuel Antonio is just further on this way. And you can see off here, there's all the fishing boats coming in and somebody is actually going out right now. That's pretty cool. I wonder how it is navigating this, uh, this estuary to the ocean. There you have it, the quintessential Capo sign, common to every town and city here in Costa Rica. They have a sign you can check out, take your photos with it for the gram. And then this is the cool thing about Capos, they actually have this paved trail here that runs parallel with the water. There's a bunch of sitting things. There was a park up here that was shut down for 2020. I'd imagine it's open now. Cool statue. And there's tons of like restaurants along here too. And hotels and stuff like that. So if you want, you know, if you want to be close to this, close to the estuary, close to the ocean. Definitely check it out. So I'll leave the remainder of the walk for you to explore when you visit Capos here in Punta Arenas province of Costa Rica. Once again, like this video, hit subscribe right here on YouTube. Hit the bell notification so you get notified when we upload a new video and please leave us a comment. It helps YouTube see that these videos are cool and they'll send it out to more and more people. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon here for your vacation. Bye now.